As summer moves into the hotter and drier days, air and water temperatures are rising. And Wyoming Game and Fish Department Green River Region fisheries managers are concerned about impacts of catch and release fishing on kokanee salmon at Flaming Gorge Reservoir. Ongoing creel surveys and interviews with anglers at the gorge indicate around 20 percent of kokanee caught have been released. As temperatures continue to warm up this month, what happens to those released fish is unknown, even if they swim away. Many likely die due to stress and the fight of being caught, along with exposure to lethal water temperatures. Anglers checked in July in the ongoing creel survey reported catching 412 kokanee, with 329 of those fish being harvested. Other observations from the creel survey conducted by the Wyoming Game and Fish and Utah Division of Wildlife Resources indicate that rainbow trout are the most common fish caught at Flaming Gorge at around 30 percent, followed by small lake trout, smallmouth bass, trophy lake trout, and kokanee. As summer progresses, surface water temperatures at the gorge and other bodies of water around Wyoming will continue increasing, reaching temperatures lethal to kokanee and other cold water fish species. At Flaming Gorge, anglers fishing for kokanee during the summer months are encouraged to stop fishing for kokanee once they catch their limit of fish, that's four kokanee per day or in possession, and switch over to fishing for a different species. Anglers are encouraged to target and harvest small lake trout. At this time of year, fish across the state face similar conditions. Being caught and released in warm surface water can be stressful for fish. Pulling a cold water species like trout and kokanee from 45 degree water to 65 degree water is life threatening and their chances of surviving when released are low. Anglers should also consider fishing in the early morning hours when water temperatures are cooler and not working or playing fish out when they are hooked. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.